Hello everybody, Skelebjorn the Video Gaming Viking here. After a small technical difficulty trying to get started here, I had uh, everything all prepped and ready to go when I uh, go to click on bringing up the game and suddenly all of my audio from the music streamer uh, just up and disappears. Um, so I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, game's currently loading up, going into Copper Hill as usual. <clears throat> Pardon me, at my perpetual sniffle, I apologize. Um, I've already been on earlier today, uh, gathering resources and stuff, I did that yesterday as well. Uh, those of you who are regular followers of the stream will uh, see some major changes that have happened to my, uh, my build on Copper Hill. Um, uh, just a note uh, on the stream, guys. Um, please let me know if there's any issues with it. Uh, I've had words with my uh, internet provider, and my bandwidth has been, uh, due to a malfunction at the local uh, junction, uh, severely limited again for some reason. Uh, now, they say, as of yesterday, the problem's been fixed, and I actually have supposed to have the ability now to stream at a much higher rate. So I have bumped the rate on XSplit. Let me know if you have any issues with uh, getting the uh, stream. Thanks, Human. man. Uh, I needed to know that. How's the levels doing? Um, oh, I've also cut the delay. Uh, I decided I'm going to start streaming with zero delay uh, between what I send and what YouTube does, other than the time it takes to get there and get processed. No more 30-second delay. I took it completely out. And the game's still loading up here, but we'll uh, flip to that screen. There we go, and it's just finishing up here. So yeah, you'll notice some major differences to what uh, my, uh, my setup here on Copper Hill looks like now. Um, there were some... Uh, what I perceived is an issue or two, so uh, after hearing what a few people said had happened, uh, I have uh, done some major upgrading. And it's obviously still loading up because all of my, there we go, it's coming. There we go. Uh, should be good, though I'm not seeing any forest in the distance there, so it's still loading up. Game file's getting real big. Um, I'm noticing it's pushing almost 7 megabytes on the startup of the game from the servers, so... People have been busy beavers. Thus, all of the voxel changes and such, and, uh, the file gets bigger from that. Made a couple of changes to the keep. Um... You'll notice a, a big gate out front here. Well, that's because we now have a full palisade, and it still hasn't loaded up the forest. Come on, forest. Oh, you're coming in the background there. Come on. Come on. Load up. Load up. I know the forest isn't done yet because there's trees in my compound and they're still not visible. Come on! Are you done yet? At least I can move around a little bit without having a tree spawn in. So yeah, uh, as I said, I've made a few changes. There's the trees. <laughs> uh, you'll notice this uh, monstrosity here in the center of my yard. Um, I decided I wanted to build a watchtower, and I got fairly creative with it. Um, there was some changes made to a couple of the mods that we use on the server, and I'm going to run over those. I haven't done a mod review in a while because of the fact that everything was being upgraded for aught.618 or whatever the number is now. And um, so I've held off. Uh, what I plan on doing today is uh, I've gathered all the supplies I need for a build. I am going to be building an elevator over in my spiral shaft uh, mine, uh, which is across the road 
in that a direction over there. So I'll give you a quick tour of what's what's changed. Um, my supplies are now centrally located as far as building supplies goes. Oh, oh look at this. <laughs> it's tin spawn time. Nothing like getting free tin. I think Keen has adjusted the uh, time that it takes for these to respawn. If memory serves, it was used to be every day, but now I think it's taking three game days for them to actually spawn again, if I'm correct. I'll pick these up while I'm at it here. Getting a little bit of lag. The server has been quite busy all this week, which is good to see. Lots of people doing lots of builds. I've been touring around. People have shown me around what they've been doing. And guys, holy jeez, from a historical point of view, as far as my background goes, as um, as some of you know what it is, I'm, I'm impressed. Some of you have been doing some reading, I think, because I'm seeing a lot of stuff that's actually a recreation or close to a recreation from some of the stuff I've seen uh, in my uh, in my time. So kudos to all of you guys who are being busy little dwarves and busy little builders and mechanicals um, getting things done. Though, one thing that I will say, I'm not seeing a lot of actual mechanical engineering being done. Uh, lots of building engineering happening, and it's cool. I love it. But uh, not a lot of um, uh, well, here, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example here in just a second. You guys know I like, I, I like my farming. That's the primary income for this particular uh, base here, um, my, my keep. So I will show you the other major upgrade that I've made. And you know what? I'm going to show it to you from my watchtower. I'm not going to show it to you straight on. I'm going to deliberately give you a wow here. Okay, quite the view, eh? There's the there's the uh, the trading post, which is on free and open land. Anyone can use it. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do in the stream today, too, I think, is I'm going to start the inn, which is going to be also in free space next to that but the reason why I'm up on this tower here uh, built a little watchtower nice little build but the farm oh, you can't see it too well from here nuts okay I'll go down a level to the next window Ah, nuts. Still can't see it well. Fine. I'll go straight to the farm. Welcome to Scalabjorn's Mechanical Engineering Farm. Some major changes since I started. Um, because I ended up putting the Palisade, which is still a little bit of work of, in progress. I'm still putting, you know, um, actual uh, uh, observation posts and stuff like that. And... Um, Supporting walls, um, walks, and stuff like that around it. But because I put that up, it gave me the opportunity to make some changes to the farm. And the farm has been majorly upgraded. I can access all of the equipment through hatches here now. I can access my mechanical drum operations, locking and unlocking them from here. And into the actual farm itself. These, which were always coming out of the wheel tracks, um, I, I guess the ground wasn't as smooth as I thought it was. Um, these are now running in timber, fully timbered tracks. These, these tracks are fully timbered, so it's not... Um, guide rails uh, w with it running on dirt anymore. It's actually a full rail system now. Um, and that made 
quite the difference as far as operation goes. In the, in the process of fine-tuning all of this as well, I've got kind of a process set up now. Um, yeah, I put running lights on it. I've got running torches on it so that if I happen to be doing this at night, I can actually see the progress of the uh, of this uh, of the uh, sewing unit and the uh, the uh, plow unit. Um, the way I've changed everything here is I can actually access these from here now as well. So I've got better access and something I discovered about the plows I don't know if this is a change or if it's an accident or what on the part of Keen but I never realized this before but the plows only plow when going in one direction uh, you see how they're curved kind of as a hook towards me so when they progress towards me to the other side of the farm they will plow the field if I leave them down and pull it back the other way it does not till which means I can plow it go that direction then load my seed in and draw it back and it will seed and not be plowed back in into the ground which is a major process saver I'm just gonna lock this so that I can draw it across I'm pretty sure I unlocked the other one. If I don't unlock the other one, it's just going to sit there when I spin the wheel. It's it, the, the lock drum will hold it in place. Yeah, it's unlocked. Not ready. Zip, 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 zip. Uh, one of the improvements I plan on making to this is uh, that I am going to change the operating wheel on the far side. I'm going to put a, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, attack and pulley system in, even though we don't have pulleys. I'm going to put a rotary rope drive into it so that I will have the other wheel here and I'll be able to mechanically run that one from this side. Okay, we're just going to draw that across and till the field. Drawing across nicely. You'll still hear it go thump, bang, boom once in a while because it's just the way the wheels are. I tried running with two draw ropes on a mechanical uh, system to uh, draw it over, but they don't seem to always want to pull at the same rate, so I went with one centrally located one. Okay, we'll just unlock that now. And... It's been a while since I've done a cash crop for the farm, so I th think... No, I'm not going to do flax. I've been doing so much flax lately. We do need bread. Um, five, one, two, three, five. Yeah, take them all. And... No, not going to go with cabbages. I am going to go with berries though. So I'm going to put berries on one side, wheat on the other. Now the berries take a couple of cycles for them to grow, but you get double the uh, double the income because you can sell both the berries and the roots and the berries and the roots also. Um are edible. Six. Oops, wrong button. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Open says me. There we go. Okay, and I can put one more crop in there. Maybe I will do cabbages. 
I'm going to leave one of the six bins empty, or maybe I'll plant mushrooms, something I can gather by hand. Where's all my cabbage? Let's see, there you are. I can gather cabbage by hand, too. Discovered that um, if you put them in to the cedar in this order, it will use the smaller. Whatever is on this side, it uses first. So you put the partial bags in first is what I've been doing. Okay. And that's all locked up and deployed and ready. So let's pull our unit back. Let me guess, I forgot to lock this one in. Yeah, I did. Engage. Right, you. Seed. There we go, I can see it coming across. There's a reason why I went with the stick fencing instead of palisading, is this, you can partially see through the stick fencing so I can actually see the progress of this thing. Happily seeding away. Seed, 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 seed. Seed, 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 seed. seed. There we go. It's not perfect, but it's a hell of a lot faster than doing it all by hand. That is for sure. And it's all the way in. She's docked. So I can disengage that wheel. So how did it do? Not too bad. It did miss some spots, so I can actually pull it back the other way. But before I do that, disable the plows. Otherwise, I'll just be tilling up everything I just planted. Okay, those are all disabled and locked up. I'm just going to check my seed content to see if those empty spots that are in the field here... Whoa, a little bit of lag there. You see there's some spots missed here. Um, so I'm going to uh, do another pass with the seed here. I'm just going to make sure it's not empty in those bins. Yeah. Nope, not empty. So there's no reason why... It couldn't have done that. Not. So, what about over here? Oh. Yeah, yeah that, they're not empty, so I'm going to do another pass. Lock down. across for another pass. much difference. So oh, well, that's good enough. I'll pull it back and then I'll uh, unship my seed. Besides the challenge of doing something like this, it actually makes it a little bit more fun to be a farmer because you're actually doing something cool with gears and stuff. 
That's why I was so thrilled when they added the mechanicals to uh, do the windmills and stuff. Uh, it's just, yeah, love it. Okay, we'll draw you back. Done. Let's grab any leftovers out of the bins, put them back into storage. are side by side. I always do that. Cabbages. We're going to have lots of cabbages. Many cabbages. And much berryness. Now, what we need on this server, and I th don't think it's actually ready yet, is there's a couple of mods out there that allow you to do um, beer and stuff like that. I, I, I would love to see something like that on the server in time for the medieval feast next weekend hint 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 let's put the wheat in there those should be full of flax last of the mushrooms in there and the cabbage can go in there nope of the berries. Now you'll notice I've got some maps. I've been uh, out exploring and uh, picking up rocks and stuff and uh, I've uh, found a whole bunch of map pieces so I think it's time to go on a quest. Oh my lord, it's sundown already? These days just go too fast. <sighs> Wet my whistle there. I have the beverage of my favorite choice uh, on the table next to me here today. Uh, okay. Um, I guess I should go put these into my storage. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm coming to a decision here. I have to decide whether I want to show you guys where my storage is or not. I had an incident on the Mist Valen server previously where someone had been watching the stream and because of what they saw decided to raid my supplies. Um, you know what? We're all a bunch of cool guys here. Well, I've talked to everybody here. What the heck? I'll show you what I've built. I've shown one or two of you who are in my house and such and trusted friends, but what the heck. Okay, tin mine number one was down here, and it's pretty much all mined out, completely mined out. Tin mine number two, as some of you will remember, was in the mountains across the way. Well, I dug a tunnel, and if Keen hadn't put the follow the pointy arrow on the map thing into their uh, fast travel system, this would never have been possible because I'd have never been able to keep the aim proper and true to join the two up so in the midst of that inside of a chunk of stone that was here and from what I can tell up above there's another copper strike I have built Scalabjorn's personal little hall put my map pieces away Oh, I got enough to make another map. Look at that. I'm going to go for it. Uh, since I have all of the technology, scribe maps are of really no use. Um, 
Equipment maps. I don't know. Um, I haven't done one in this server. I've got a couple of treasure maps made. I want to do a treasure map. Craft up another treasure map. I think we'll go a-questing this, this stream as well. We'll, uh, we'll do some treasure hunting. Jeez, I got enough to make quite a few, actually. Didn't realize that. Um, I've got two treasure maps. What the heck? Let's do a journeyman's map. And I know I accidentally made a scribe's map the other day. We'll do one more treasure map. I haven't done a treasure quest since Keen made changes to, uh, the game and came out with 8.6, so... We'll see what it's like. Right, I was going to give that to... Yeah, see, I accidentally made a scribe's one. So let's grab... I'm going to keep... Yeah, I'm going to keep the treasure map and the journeyman's map that we just did. And uh, we'll go on a little quest. Oh my. Most of the pictures worked this time. Um, on the topic of mods. Of... Uh, I've noticed on the server, I've got these pictures up in my hall. Eight times out of ten, they're blank because it hasn't loaded the image for some reason. Whereas this time, actually, three out of four of them actually have an image on them this time. I'm rather impressed. Maybe it'll get uh, figured out. I don't know. Maybe it's different on the single play. I've never had a problem on it. Single play. Oh, same picture twice on there. There we go. And then there's uh, there's my quarters there. The fireplace for in my quarters right there. There we go. And this continues on. Dum -de -dum -de 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 -de. I was a diggy diggy dwarf making this. And bam, another rock outcrop. Down that way is another copper mine. Um, I think I've got a copper strike here. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to do some more exploring up above and see. But here is tin mine number two. It's completely played out, mined to nothing. But I got real lucky when I actually made the tunnel coming over from the keep to here. When I emerged, it emerged literally um, a half square off the bottom of the already cut spiral. And yeah, what you're seeing here is actually a cut spiral going all the way up. And I've already stoned in up above. This is where the elevator that I've been talking about is going to go in. The elevator is going to come down, and I want it to drop down through the center to the bottom here. Now, whether it's going to be a supply elevator or uh, a manned transport elevator, thank you for the harness mod, um, has yet to be determined. I guess we'll see how it ends up. There we go. Spiral up. Wow, the sun sure already went down. And here we are. And there's the keep across the way. Ah, ah scotchy goodness. That's a little dark out here. Uh, I'm not going to go questing on those maps at night. Not going to do that at night. No way. There we go. Oh, hello, flax. Come here. Always free flax is good. Free cabbage is good, too. I'm good on sticks and all of that stuff, though, however, now that I think that copper is over 
here. I think it's over here. Oh, more flax. Uh, is this it? So I was picking up a whole bunch of ore. Oh, another cabbage next to it. Anyways, um, there we go, there's the road, and we'll just walk back. One thing I wish Keen would do, torch swinging in face at night. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. If they could do what they used to do is, you know, guys, if you see some of the old videos, you see, oh, is that a cabbage? Cabbage. You look at some of the old videos that were shot by people um, engineers were going around with you know their big mallets on their back and stuff I would like to see what they have done with life is futile where when you've got a torch equipped it's actually equipped on your back I would love to see something like that happen or if one of the uh, equipment mods uh, which allow you to put shields and helmets and stuff not all of them are uh, changed for six yet for aught six uh, I would love to be able to have an equipable lamp or an equipable torch um, the lamp probably best and just you know have it on a stick on your back well I'm gonna do a little bit of yard cleanup here I don't like doing builds at night because you lose perspective. Do a little bit of cleanup. Grab some shrooms here, some stones. I should uh, get rid of some of these trees over here as well that are still up in the compound. Yeah, let's do that now. Make sure they fall in such a way that they're not taking out fencing. Do not hit the palisade. Do not hit the side of the keep. Had that happen. Had one. I could have sworn I was angling it the other direction, but I had one fall into the side of the keep, and I literally yeah <laughs> uh, I literally literally had to replace three sections of stone and a stone base on the keep I thought oh my god this is gonna come down this is gonna come down like the little one did in uh, in the previous iteration of the server when I accidentally removed the wrong wall but no I got lucky some of the walls just cracked which um, which meant I could just repair them. So, structural integrity, which is turned on in the server, we know, um, did not get a chance to inflict its evil clanginess on my, on my keep. I saw your note there, uh, who man, has, uh, has Doom actually put his claim block in place yet, like everyone's been telling him he should, or is he, uh, still running in, in stealth mode on the map kind of thing? Now, these trees here, I think I'm going to have a problem with. Because they are awful close to... <sighs> Wish me luck. Oh god, oh god, oh god! I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Whoa! 
wood explosion. So I guess I'm rebuilding my uh, my tenant farmer's shacks. Uh. Okay. Um. Well, it's not so bad, actually. I think I'm in a position to be able to repair most of this. Yeah, that's not so bad. Furniture's still intact. Fix that. Okay, well, that's... I I guess it could have had worse. It could have been worse. At least it could At least it didn't hit the tower. Knock on wood. Uh, okay, so I need to make some flooring, some roofing. free, did you? Okay. Okay, so I need planks, I need timbers, and I think these trees, to get rid of them, I am not chopping them down. I'm going to till the ground and have them vanish. They'll voxel out. I love it when you get double the lumber from a busted piece of wood. Planks. Slow down there. Some planks. I need some timbers. I need my hammer. Yeah, could have been much worse. Okay, I need a piece of floor here. There we go. You're repaired. You're good. Okay, I need a new one here. Because that was the roofing of the lunch area or the kitchen area. Oh, hey, jailbreak. Another member of my house just logged on. He's off in another kingdom. He's got quite the build already on the go. Very impressive. I'll just have to put these back in. I hate it when it does that. There we go. Looks better. I'll put these in. in a quick second here. Now this one had the door towards the front of memory serves. Ah, uh, the joys of felling trees inside of your compound because you didn't 
pick up the sticks off the ground soon enough. Uh, windows in the back, so this one has... Oops. Wall there. Wall there. It's hammer time. There we go. My apologies to my tenant farmer, whoever you would ever be. I decimated your house. I have rebuilt it. Okay, let's put these uh, roofings in place. I have noticed that sometimes it does depend on the order that you build in as to how things are going to look. Sometimes if you put them in before or after, parts of the uh, item disappear because of the way the machine thinks it's going to engineer. See, notice those edges didn't disappear off the roof anymore. There we go. Rebuilt. Cost a little bit of wood. Wood's renewable resource. Not a problem. Am I going to be brave and take that one down? Hell no. I'm not going to take that down with the axe. I'm going to go get my uh, my plow. Oh, note to Yurand. Yurand, please get your, uh, your planter mod up and running. Some of us... Uh, would really, really, really love to be able to do roads and stone and forest land again. But in the meantime, for safety's sake, bye-bye tree. Bye-bye tree. The safer option of deforestation. Build it. Don't destroy it. Build it. Thank you. Yes, because I never use the wheat. Good old red morning. You do not have sufficient components to complete this block. Yeah, well, I'm just building timber things. And I don't need to put the little wheat straw roof on it. I'm not going to go run for bits of wheat just to do that. Okay. How much timber do I have? does warrant. Oh, I found another map piece into picking up of rocks on my property today. Because, uh, what? Ah, see, I, I could have sworn. Yeah, I did put images on them. It's just, on the server load, it's disappearing. I didn't put one on that one. I reorganized my uh, sawmill, as you can see. No, I want the... Thank you. I need the blades. No, I don't want the plank blade. 
Oh, I do have one in there still. Okay, good. Make that timber. I do have to give keenness. The animation that they did on these mechanical blocks is phenomenal. I mean, everything has an animation. And it's a low enough poly that it's not causing major lag on anybody. I, I, I am very impressed. Well done, Keen. I wish saw blades didn't run out as fast as they do, but that's the way it is. some torches in this area. It is a touch dark in the central section here. Oh, wait, this one's not full, is it? No, it's not. Fill that one up. Okay. You can go in there, yeah. Ah, <sighs> do I want to leave these here? It's wide enough an area. I'm going to leave those for now. I'm not worried about those, but this this area in here was where I was concerned with because I do have things I want to build here. Okay. Uh, I can go in there. Planks can go back. That hand plow is about to wear out. that. Oh, pardon me, folks. So I've got three picks on me, one shovel, two shovels. Two wooden mallets. That's the one thing that I've picked up off of um, barbarians. Wooden mallets. And you can't deconstruct them when you drop them or anything, I don't think. So I'm just going to use them. Use them till they wear out. Let them go. I mean, it's, o it's only bits of wood. And we'll put you in there. And put that saw blade back. shovel? I didn't know that. I never even tried to burn uh, burn a mallet. Let's find out. <laughs> Heaven forbid, you can't. They're gone. <laughs> Thank you, Who Man. And you know what? I've got the spices. I may as well. Roast some meat. Damn, you can burn a mallet. Well, look at that. Works for me. I 
I should um, take some of the fruits of the farm here and uh, make a whole bunch of salad and other dishes for the uh, for the feast. Lord knows I've got enough bread. You see those barrels to the side? Well, the top one, I think, is full of bread loaves, plus the shelves around the kitchen, so... Quite a bit of stuff. Burn the mallet first. There we go. Okay, throw that in there. That's just branches. I'm happy letting that cook away. Go put stones and other things away here. <coughs> Excuse me. supplies. There you go. One moment, guys. I gotta clear my throat here. One second. Ugh! Sorry about that. Yeah. Don't know where that came from. What do I got left in there? I got one torch stand. Well, I'll put that by the supply cache in the center here, like I was saying. I need more light there. Hey, jailbreak. Okay, putting that torch stand in. Button. Ah. Da, 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 da. Inventory. You. There. Hello. We'll put you. Oh yeah, right there is good enough. Okay, so we can see the supply cache there now. Okay, good. Uh, we'll put those sticks. Oh, that's almost full. So we don't need any more sticks. I got a full crate, and a crate and a half of sandstone. Uh, some stones. 37 angled timbers. Gonna need those for making the superstructure for the elevator. Lots of planks. said I don't like building at night. Close portcullis, thank you. Close gate. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of quick exploring. Let's just make sure my tools are good. Yeah. I wish you could carry a torch. <coughs> now, I was going to... Doing this at night isn't usually the best way to do it, but I found a spot the other day which was a lot of tin just on the surface.
I wrote down the wrong coordinates. <laughs> Figures. Hmm. I think it was down in this area. me off the road. What the heck? <laughs> Somebody just up and dropped. What the heck? Grab it. What the hell? Uh, I know it was in this area someplace. There was a ravine and it was all kinds of tin. And you could pick a whole bunch of it up just off the surface obviously. Hmm. I think it was in this area. It was just off the road. It's not like I need it. I've got a crate full of it right now. I guess I should get to grinding down some of that copper and tin ore that I have. Sand? Sand here? That's interesting. Any sandstone kicking around this area? There's a copper strike. Sand. Going straight to clay. Okay. out this direction here. I should go mine some more iron as well. As a matter of fact, this is starting to look familiar. Tin. Okay. I think we got her. Because I was out gathering wheat the other day to get another seed crop going. Herbs are always good. More tin. Here we go. Gotta be here somewhere. I'm gonna pull a little trick that I like doing. Options, graphics, grass density. Okay, tin ore, let's see you sitting on the surface here. Last time, when, wow, lots of slowdown happening. Um, when I did that, it was literally 
all you can see was like 30 or 40 chunks of tin just lying all over the place. It's got to be in this area someplace. Oh, of course somebody was by. It's just unusual to find something like that just sitting in the middle of the road. Yeah, it's quite possible. Yeah, good point. But I don't think I wrote down the correct area because the area I was picking all of the tin up from, it was literally... You see how that stone in front of me, it just goes on and on and on? That's all you saw for tin. Uh, and, of course, there was, like, tin all over the place. So I'm pretty sure I wrote down the coordinates wrong. That's okay. It's not like I uh, have a need for it immediately. It was on the lee side of the hill. Obviously, not used the server before. Asking if it was persistent. The guys who run this one, other than scheduled reboots, which happen every day at a set time, um, it runs 24/7. tree area. Where am I? Okay, yeah. Once you start seeing palm trees like this, you're more likely to find iron.
I think I'm about to head back. Really? Cool. I have yet to find any silver anywhere yet. Iron, copper, tin. But I haven't found gold or silver like that. Board for a second here. Lots of stones, more wheat, wheat. Not that I really need it, I got a crop happening. Alrighty. Oh, we have trees. Where you find palm trees, you usually find So that's what small palm trees look like. I am gathering palm tree sticks. Oh, that one's too big. And there's that hole I found earlier. I'm going to take a quick be right back, but I'm going to fast travel. I'm going to find out where I am here. Oh my, I'm way off. Uh, i got to get to a road, and then I'm going to take a uh, fast travel back to base, and then I'm going to take a quick be right back and refresh my drink and do a bio break and uh, eh, maybe five minutes in total. Heading to the castle. Grab the wheat. Grab the wheat. Grab the wheat. Close the road. Ah. Run.
glad they put the uh, the higher stamina and higher uh, food mod on the server. It makes it so much more sensible to be able to run for more than 30 seconds. And I do believe I'm coming up on the road. There we go. Elven magic. Whoa. Right next to the wall. Right next to the wall. <laughs> okay, where's the gate? Where am I here? And gate's that way. has exploded. No clang of vision has happened. Okay, good. How's my crops doing? Oh. Nothing else broke, right? Just double checking here. Okay. Ah, oh, I knew I forgot something. Ah, I knew something didn't quite look right. Gonna pull from the stockpile. And there we go. Okay, now it's done. I knew something didn't look right. Okay. Check the crops quickly, and then I am going to do my quick be right back. It is unlocked. Okay, why is it? That's good old server clang. Let's double check over here. Yeah, that's unlocked too. Okay, yeah, that's just good old V Rage engine server clang on multiplayer. I was wondering why is it vibrating? Have I overtensioned something? Oh yeah, very overtensioned. Look at that. The rope is not <laughs> definitely a little bit of uh, server dislocation there happening. Okay, anyways. As I was saying, I'm going to do a quick be right back. And then hopefully we can get on with some building here. I want daylight. Okay. Watch, I'll be I'll come back and that will have vibrated completely off uh, and destroyed everything. Flying will strike. Okay, no. Oh. I should uh, put a stone ramp in there. Because getting up inside here, you have to approach from the one side. Okay. Alrighty, standing guard. I am going to be back in a few minutes, guys.
And I'm back, everybody. Um, I've put, uh, for those who are asking, I've put uh, the uh, stream link up on the uh, server's Discord. But there it is as well. Okay, and look at that. Good timing. The sun's coming up. Sun's coming up. I got steaks on the griddle. Alrighty. Yes, I said steaks, not cakes, because I would prefer to have steak rather than a flapjack. Okay, so it's time to start building. Um, what should I do first? Should I do the inn, or should I do the elevator? The elevator, I still think I need to do some thinking on, but the inn was going to be just over here. which is just on the edge of Terra Incognita. And I'm going to attach it right to the trading post, right next to the trading post. Hmm. Yeah, I think here. I think we'll do the inn first. It's not going to be anything huge or fancy. But it will be there. Uh, I don't think I need anything out of there for now. out everything I've picked up here first. Wheat, flax. Wow, I picked up a lot of stuff while I was on walkabout. Let's, uh, let's empty that out, make room in the inventory. Whoa. Bogged. of meat there. Let's put that there. There we go. Clang rising? Uh-oh. That can't be too good. What's up, who man? Uh, no, actually, you know what? We're going to go on a quest. We're going to go on a quest. We're going to follow some of these treasure maps that I've got. Something different. Still, that I can grind pumpkins and there. Ah, I should have put that in the. Okay, that can go in there, 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 the sticks can go in there. We can make some salads. We can make a few salads actually. Go until you're used up. Ah, uh, it's exploding, is it? Okay, well, how about I? I'll come have a look. Um, yes, put the wheat in the mill. You know, that just so disconcerting seeing that just bouncing around. Grind me some bread. Make me some bread. Or, well, some flour anyway, so I'll make the bread later. And flax. Yeah, Clang probably pushed you. I've got things going a little wonky over here myself. It's uh, a little disconcerting seeing my uh, farm mechanicals just vibrating like that. I mean, I know it's a disconnect between client and server. It's typical, but it's along with all of the... Oh, it's harvest time. Along with uh, all of the... Uh, lag that's happening like that makes me question okay the wheat is not ready those are ready and so are the cabbages okay 
You know what? We're going to do just a quick harvest here. Because mushrooms are a cash crop for this. Oh, look at that. Server disconnect strikes. I've harvested that, but it's not disappeared. Oh, yeah. Either that or they're not quite ready. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to have to relog into the server? Yeah, I think that might be an idea. Yeah, nothing's harvesting. It's not harvesting properly. Okay, guys. I am going to pop out of the server and then log back in. only five of us oh my god the pin let's let's refresh that that's better <laughs> I was gonna say I shouldn't have a ping for my own server in excess of 25 considering it's on my own machine in the basement uh, on a custom rack system that I built for the house when I when I did the house only five people on pings not bad um, yeah there's a lot more mods available that just haven't been on. I can understand cosmetic mods not going on, but there's some functional ones I would love to see on there. And of course, as the server world gets larger, the uh, load time goes up, which, you know, it's expected, but... <laughs> Hello, Daniel on the chat. How you doing, sir? Yep, yeah, just loading back into the game. Um, there's a little bit of lag happening, so I popped out to uh, to uh, resync up because I was harvesting by hand and nothing appeared to be harvesting. So, how you been, Daniel? No. <laughs> And we'll just wait for everything to load up. Good dear. <laughs> Come on, load up. Well, at least I don't see uh, the mechanicals for my auto farm bouncing all over the place anymore. <laughs> there doesn't appear to be any vibration happening. It's just, where's the rest of my crops? Come on, crops. Some of you got harvested, but... Harvest, I didn't intend to harvest roots, nuts, because <clears throat> they haven't matured into berries yet. And once the forest loads up, there we go. Still not loaded up yet. <laughs> Getting there, but not quite. Yeah, I didn't intend to harvest those. Those, I'll let those turn into. That's better. Now I can harvest. 
easier to do it by hand at this point because I don't want to harvest the berry crop yet because that gives you a yield on both the roots and the berries. So once it matures to berries, then I harvest it. happening there for sure. Wheat's not ready yet? No. Okay. Didn't think it would be, but the mushrooms, we'll just check. Once we got this harvested up, we'll check to see what I've got left for seed, and we'll make seed and sell the rest. I should do a full farm area of nothing but mushrooms, actually. Maybe I'll hang on to all of them get my seed levels up to the point where I can do a, a full six sewing units. Okay. Now, what have I got left for mushroom seed? I need. That should be cabbage here. No, that's berries. More cabbage. Yeah, okay. This is all going to convert to mushroom seed. And then we'll plant a huge chunk of mushrooms because those those pay very well because the trading post doesn't take into account the fact that you can farm these using the mushroom mod wow I got a lot oops I can make one more thing I see. Can I? There we go. And those cabbages and roots, those are going to go into the kitchen. And then we are going to make sure we're all fed and ready to go. And we are going to run off on one of these treasure quests of these maps that I've got. Do some exploring. Get in there. How many did we get made? Only two? Well, we got plenty of stuff in there now. Fooded. There we go. I know I've got lots of crossbow bolts. Let's put one of these treasure maps up. I gotta go to the kingdom of Umbril. Okay. Lock things up. Umbril, huh? Okay, Umbril. the heck let's fast travel to there and then we'll get started on our quest 
You are at most half a kingdom away from the map's location. It is roughly to the northwest. Okay. Yeah, Daniel, I have a playlist that goes for about four and a half hours. Northwest, huh? Let's keep going. And we're in the cold climbs of the north area. And I didn't turn that back on. There we go. No more than a region away. Keep heading northwest. Well, geez, this was a quick quest. Almost there already. I like how they got the snow crunching sound right. Barren and desolate land, blowing and cold. Though I don't think we're at the North Pole quite yet. We're getting there, though. Now, if only they had real ice and real water in this game. Water that you could float a boat on and ice that you could use to preserve food or something. I don't know. Keep heading northwest, huh? Okay. Nope. Lots of herbs in the area. Oh, Daniel's on. Hey, Daniel. Yes, it's one of the sites that Keen built into the game. I think it is, anyways. Santa at the North Pole? Someone building Santa Claus's workshop? Sepid's place. What the heck? That's a stone? Stone looked like ice. <laughs> Half a region northwest. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Iron. Never go anywhere without picks and ladders, guys. Hiding under the snow. Look at that. This quest was worth it. The crazy Dane wakes from his slumber. strike unless it's down further I 
still something. It's better than nothing. <laughs> Getting into the stone here already. Digging myself into a hole. Let's dig out of the hole. It's a Christmas tree. Yes, it is. Yeah, not an awful lot of iron here, it looks like. It's mining out already. Go see the mead hall as well once we're done this quest. Okay, this iron does go down further. And I'm digging myself out of a hole again. It's evolved into actual iron ore underneath here, not just the easy stuff. Okay, uh, get out of the hole. Some clay. Where about semi here? to the quest. Continue northwest. We dug our hole of opportunity here. Got some iron. Whoa. Whoa, getting some slowdown here. This is not good. <laughs> I'm getting worried. server's not going to be happy.
Well then, yeah, maybe you should go harvest that stuff. Half a region. Go to the north. Still trudging along in the Arctic here. There's the tree line. And unusual looking stones. They look like chunks of ice, but it says they're actually stones. I'm picking up giant snowballs. Let's make a snowman. And, oh, Jesus. Oh, north. Now it wants me to go straight north. Okay. Somewhere within sight now. Okay. Northeast. Treasure chest! Look at this! We found a treasure chest! Yay! 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 Okay, let's see what we got. Another. Oh, oh, I got some silver and some rope and a skull of mine enemy and another piece of treasure map. This was. meh. A little anticlimactic. Okay, where am I? Okay, go to the road. What do I have? I have another map on me, do I not? Yes, I do. Let's go for that one now. Journeyman's treasure map. Oh, and it's in the same kingdom. In the northeast. Well, let us go. These mountains are going to be in my way, aren't they? Oh, server lag. Yeah, it would be nice to get the chest. Hmm. Is that the road over there? Not the road. Yeah, I'm gonna take the road. I'm gonna get to a place where I can approach whatever this is in a sensible manner because those mountains are all gonna be in my way. Oh, I'm actually seeing mushrooms in an Arctic tundra.
Where's the road? I do believe. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, what's this? Ten. I got ten. fast traveling to there. Did we move? What the hell? I think we just died. Yep. The server said, nope, I don't want you doing that. I fast traveled and that was it. <coughs> Oh, well, here I am stuck up in the far north and the server went poof. Now in the old days, prior to six, I'd have had to request up to there to find my stuff. Yep, the server went down, Daniel. Uh, well, we'll have to wait a few minutes for it to come up. So, oh, <clears throat> let's see here. Haven't done any mod reviews in a while, guys. So, give me a second here. I'm going to pull up. Mm, I just sounded like Yoda. Mmm. Oh, I never put a cam up. I've never put a cam up. Uh, new. Let us go to... Just give me a second here, guys. I am pulling up the, uh, the Steam page, and I am going to pull up a couple of mods while we wait for the uh, for the server to come back up. So, one mod that I wanted to re-highlight. There we go. And I've given this mod a review previously, but I want to come back to this one. And there we go. Got it. Let me switch to that screen now, guys. Here we go. Uh, is the Steep Ladders mod. Um, previously known as Steep Stairs. Uh, Kobe, the author of this, has made a major change to it. Yes, it's compatible. There we go. That's what we wanted right there. It's still uh, compatible with 0.6, but he's added two more stairs to it. Um, where are we here? Get back to that. There we go. That's the one. This one here in the center, that's what was in the mod previously. He is now, since then, literally within this last couple of days, you've got a super narrow one, which is only three blocks wide. You've got this one, which is five blocks wide. 
you've got this one which is six blocks wide this is made specifically to match up for the same width as the trap door this is your standard one and this is super narrow these are what I'm using in my tower to get up to my uh, my lookout post in the new uh, observation tower that I built these are the ones that I'm using in my keep I always keep a couple of these on me in my inventory for if I'm out and about doing mining I've got something that I can drop down. I'm not digging myself. If I can't dig myself out of the hole, I can climb out of the hole. And another mod that is rather slick that just came out. Done by Wolfgar7474. Smoking chimneys. Um, well done, sir. Um, something that adds a lot. I mean, it's not a functional mod but it's a cosmetic mod that adds a little bit more touch to the game. I, I, I really do like this idea. Adds a little bit more depth to the game. It's, it's rather cool. Let's see, what else is there? <clears throat> what other new blocks? Right, here we go, the Arch mod. Um, one of the uh, modders out there, Ivan, has taken the block, which is the normal arch, the half of an arch, and has inverted it, so now you can do full circles. Kudos to you, sir. Well done. What else we got out there? Oh yes, most definitely. This is one that uh, is the second uh, iteration. Um, stored past, uh, stored 3D, did a hand crank or crusher some time ago, and that one has been up to uh, function for uh, 8.6, but he has adapted it. Uh, there's a separate mod, it's a separate mod from the hand cranked one that will attach two mechanicals as a mechanical or a crusher. So it can be windmill driven. You put grindstones into it just like you would uh, the, uh, the flour mill or such. And it's the same thing. Uh, it takes two pieces of ore, sorry, a piece of ore and turns it into two bags of ore, crushed ore, which doubles your yield. Uh, you'll also notice it's got a larger inventory. The current inventory on the hand cranked one is three. Now he's got an inventory of five on there. So kudos, Storid 3D, well done. Um, I would love to see this mod on the Copper Hill server. Okay, um, give me a sec here, guys. I'm going to see if the server's back up. Yeah, I see it's back up. So. In we go, and I'm going to flip that screen back over, there we go, loading up. Daniel, you're pulling a me, except I go for, uh, you know, 36 to 48 hours without sleeping sometimes. W what's going on, man? <laughs> you pulling a gamer, uh, a game uh, marathon, are you? Oh, you're not pulling a game marathon. Okay. It's a work marathon. Don't need to know, sir. <laughs> okay. Should be back in in a bit. 90%. I do like the fact that Keen added that uh, little number uh, countdown to the uh, spinning gear. 
very handy. There we go. Okay, so where the hairy heck am I? Not to the road yet. Okay, so. Trudge to the road. Oh, do I have all of the iron? Okay, so it didn't go. Ah! I still haven't got the tree. I... It saved before the. Ah. Well, hey, maybe we'll get a better haul on the, uh, out of the, ca uh, the, the chest then. regions distance away go to the north crudge 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 going north going north Right over here, actually, if I remember right. And it should be right about here. Ta da! Whoa! I got two chests! I got two chests! Holy jeez! I got two chests! Niceness! I got food. Food is good. Lots of meat lots of meat there. What about this one? What about this one? It's not it's not oh it is actually there. No, it's not. It's pulling a psych job. I can kick the chest, but I can't open the chest. Nuts! <laughs> it's a voxel accident. It wasn't supposed to spawn. Can I pick it up? You evil chest. Evil chest. Open says me. Let's play kick the chest. only supposed to be one chest so that one's a spawning accident can I deconstruct it nope won't even let me deconstruct it why do I get the feeling that that's going to disappear okay well let's see here do I want to continue one to this one half a kingdom away roughly in the east Away from the mountains. Okay, we're gonna do this one. Yeah. <laughs> no, it broke itself, and it actually, it, it just got confused. That's what it did, Daniel. It got confused. <laughs> evil chest. Evil chest. <laughs> yes, you're right, Daniel. Edge of the mountains. I get to skirt the mountains, roughly in the east. 
Well, at least I'm heading towards a road. Because the road circles the entire pole. And run to keep warm. Let's keep warm. Keep warm. Southeast, and it's definitely not above the mountain line. This is good. I didn't want to have to climb mountains to get this treasure. second here guys music's getting a little that's better there we go Yeah, I think that's a keenism. Who, man? I. Lord knows. I'm getting the same thing still. It's not as bad as it used to be, but. Yeah, it would be nice because. I mean, every player has their own file section in server saves now, so there's no reason why um, a player wouldn't be able to have a, a trigger in the game to, to save like that. That would be fantastic. I mean, they had to implement that because you've got your own bookmarks now that you can make in the uh, in the mat in the book. Um, they put all of your inventory, your location. That's why you don't show up at a respawn bed every time you log back into the server, is because they have implemented this. Anybody need some iron up north? I have just found an iron strike here. Anybody? Southeast, huh? That's right, I didn't dig the iron because... Because I have iron. I don't need any more iron. And... Run to keep warm. Run to keep warm. Here's the road. You're crazier than me, Daniel. You're crazier than me. Still southeast, huh? Still half a kingdom. Look at this. I love the Keen's doneness. As he walks off a cliff. <laughs> yes, yes. 
Whoa. More iron. Southeast. Mm -hmm. Yep, skirting the edge of the top of the world. Still half a kingdom. have me going in circles, isn't it? Run, run, Bjorn, run. and on to Tundra here. Good boy, still half a kingdom away. Oh, we're hearing birdsong. We're getting into a warmer climb again, are we? along the road for a while here. Trudge, trudge, trudge. Still half a kingdom, huh? gets us any closer. Still southeast, still half a kingdom. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to be going in circles? That's better. A region size away heads south. Let's find this. Oh! What do we got here? Hello! Yeah. Yes, thank you. I will take the free tin ore without having to dig.
use gold for a second. Okay. Okay, keep going south. Okay, south. Copper. Oi, yay, yay. Mmm. Yes, copper much there is here. Mm. Grab it, we shall. Little parts to be made from this. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Daniel. You got me doing Yoda. You mentioned it, and and now it's it's stuck. You're stuck with it. I'm stuck with it. To the treasure. South it says. South we go. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, we got enough for a ingot or two there. to go south. At least it's not half a kingdom away like it was. Come on, map. Don't fail us now. Still going south. South, south, south. South, south, south. South, south, south. What <laughs> map Tree! Tree! Hoi! This, we could have some problems here. Find a way through here. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. Yeah, I'll go to the southwest in a second. I gotta find a way around this mountain. Ah, <sighs> now let's go back down this way. This is gonna get interesting. Cabbage. South. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, let's find a way across the mountain. Nope. More tin. I think we'll be able to get up this. I think, I think. I'll just start to climb tack. Uh, nope, it's too steep. We're not going to make it up that. 
Okay, we gotta go around. Biking. Are you trying to decide if I was underground or something? My lord. Tin and copper literally right next to each other. Look at that. As I was saying, or going to say, I'll have enough tin and copper picked up just from this quest to do a few ingots of bronze. Quite a few ingots of bronze, actually. And pay some taxes. Okay, what does it say? South, huh? Yeah, mountain's still in the way. Gotta go around it. What is your quest? Ah, it's not working. I did too much Yoda. I can't do Tim the Sorcerer. Not Tim the Sorcerer, sorry. The the uh, the Bridge Keeper from Monty Python. What is your quest? What is your favorite color? What is the airspeed uh, of a uh, coconut-laden uh, swallow? What is the maximum airspeed velocity of a coconut-laden swallow? African or European? I don't know. <laughs> Southwest, huh? Okay, well, at least it's not in the mountains. It's going to be in the middle of the forest, though. But just watch. My luck, the chest will spawn into a tree and vanish. Slightly to the west. Very close. Okay, we're getting there. Green or blue? <laughs> Red! No! Blue! Ah! <laughs> yeah, it was red or blue. Red! No! Blue! Ah! <laughs> Extremely close. Here it is. Oh, and it's gonna roll. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh, it hit a tree. <laughs> what do we got? Okay, another piece of treasure map and an iron sword. Well, not much in a treasure chest, but the stuff that we found along the way has made the quest well worth it. Oh, and look at that. There's a road right over here. Oh, and more copper ore. Grab the copper ore. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. 
Okay. Fast traveling home. I wonder if it's daylight here. Yarn hold. Oh, we got daylight! Look at that! We got daylight happening! Well, that, that quest was well worth it, actually. I mean, we got two treasure chests, some cool stuff. Got a heck of a load of venison out of that chest. Which will be good for the feast. Plus... I picked up so much tin, copper, <coughs> excuse me, and iron. Yeah, well worth it. And a couple more map pieces, so. Fairly cool. And I'm just waiting for the rest of the. <laughs> yes, but the voice I was saying it in. What is your favorite color? The Bridge Keeper from Monty Python. The three questions before he'll let you pass. I admit the voice sucked because I was doing too much Yoda earlier. And being that it is winter time, I have my perpetual problem with my sinuses and throats, so. And before we go in. Barbarian Patrol. You've never seen Monty Python and the Holy Grail? Sir, you must watch... You must watch that movie. You must watch that movie. If that's what you're meaning by saying that. Later, Firefly. Take care. <sighs> oh, pardon me. Oh, pardon me. I'm so sorry. sinuses. Okay. Let us store what we have gathered. Yeah. You're not going to let me pass the door, are you? There we go. Uh, copper. Tin. I guess I should get to grinding some of this ore. There we go. How much... How many herbs did I gather? Okay, between... I'm gonna have lots of stuff for the feast. Okay. We are back in ye old kitchen. Venison and spices go in. Clear you. And you need... Oh yeah, we're going to need wood. Can I put wood in here? Should be coming up soon. We'll roast some meat. Are these barrels empty? Yes. Come here. No small block explosion. Thank you. Oh, 
I did only grab four stacks. Okay, well, I'll fill that with wood later. Okay, fuel you up. Get to be a roast in here. Roast ten of those. Clear that. There we go. To the table. Oh, the table's full. How's my bread supply? I can use another stack, anyways. Actually, no, we're gonna keep that on hand. Put that stack of bread away. Anything else that we need in there? We can put you in there, I think. No, we can't. We can put that in there, though. Take that out, put that in there. That'll fit in there. Got a fair number of map bits on that little quest there. That can come out. You don't need to burn that yet. And in you go. We'll melt down that iron sword. Done the meat. <clears throat> and we'll do a bunch of roots with shrooms as well. As a matter of fact, I know I've got more roots here. No, it was um, Firefly that was heading off. Almost done. Oh, I can do up some of that soup as well. We need more variety of crops other than um, just what we have. I mean, we need we need to have barley, we need to have oats. That would be so cool to have that. Proper, extra cereal crops. Okay, that should do that. strong yeah gonna have lots of food oh, and we don't have enough to finish that okay that's fine let's put that on the table yeah it would be nice to get brew back it would be nice to get that mod up and running again A 
lot of tools, that. <clears throat> nope. There we go. And put the stone and wipe this away. Stones. There we go. And stone. How's my crops doing here? Wheat's probably ready to go. And away goes the clay. The dirt. I need my harvester units. Is this unlocked? That is unlocked. Needs to be locked actually. Lock. Thank you. Not ready, huh? Oh, I can probably do this by hand. Yep. Just easier to do this by hand. Lot of bread. So we did. I'm going to engage those. Hopefully it doesn't go all cattywonkus on me when I plow. We're going to put Put mushrooms down. No, more berries. We'll do another another run of berries. more wheat. Oops, that's not what I wanted. this. Hopefully this goes right.
Worked like a charm. Look at that. Holy mackerel. I got some wheat plant. Wow. Some berries planted, some wheat planted. What was it doing? Was it? Ah, I'll bet you it did. Oh no, it's just I can't see it. Well, that worked. We'll disengage the lock. There we go. And we'll disengage the plows on those. Seed hoppers. Where am I going? This way. Thank you. Now, if you just grow, yeah, that's the plan. To, uh, that's the plan, who man. I just drop the harvest tree units onto the tail end and then drag her back. <coughs> under three hours on the stream and you know what really sucks is I haven't gotten anything that I wanted to get done done well, other than some questing with, for some maps which was rather cool but um, I wanted to get some building done but just the daylight hasn't worked out I should actually go do some visiting is what I should do is I should see what some of these uh, builds have been doing here Where am I going? I wanted to make more flour. We'll put the wheat into the grindstone. We may not grind it. Oh, actually, it will grind it. I think I left the stone in there. I think I actually have a ton of flour in there right now, too. Yes, I do. Well, we'll let this grind out. Is good to go. We shall put the flower. Flour will not go into those, okay? Will flour go onto a shelf? No, it will not. Okay, we put it in the barrel. Actually, you know what? We'll put it in here. So that we know. More bread of bacon. Bacon. Well, something I haven't done in a while is I have not visited the hall where we're going to be having the medieval feast. Speed 
travel. And still spawning in the castle. taking its time loading in. Of course, it is a very large build. Let's see how things are coming along here. Wow. Impressive. Let's see the dining hall. Hello. Just checking it out. Seeing how things are coming along. I I'm really loving this hall. This is this is fantastic. I uh, should actually. Uh, you know what I should have done? I should have brought some of the food supplies for the feast. But we're gonna do the feast next weekend, anyways. Just baking up another batch of bread and stuff to, to bring over. This is looking fantastic. I'm loving this. You even got the house names for all of the banners up. I'm loving it. Right here, you're saying? Right here is where the Pokemon's took out the... Wow. That would have been a disaster if that pillar had disappeared. Oh, <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> Half of the wall gone. At least it was repairable and still structurally supporting it rather than completely broken and therefore collapsing. That would not have been fun. Oh, you gotta... Well, I'm gonna start it over here. Very cool. I should make some chandeliers and bring them over. Oh, you got the hoarding ones in instead of using the planks. You got the... Oh, it's still not... Oh, well. Okay. Cool. This is looking good, my friend. This is looking really, 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 really good. I'm liking it. Liking this a lot. Yeah, you were telling me this thing almost killed you. Still bits and pieces of it here. I can see where it would have to be uh, done because easily fall through those. Uh, sounds like Who Man and Agent have got some stuff on the go there too. I should pop by and say a hi before I say goodbye to the stream. Which way'd you go? Where'd you go? Ah! 
Yeah, good, 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 good. yeah, the walk came loose. He uh, had that over the uh, over the murder holes so that he couldn't fall through them, and uh, the whole thing came loose. Not sure why. It just one day, just it just started bouncing all over the place. He didn't do anything to it. Okay, um, Daniel, I'm gonna head over to, uh, Pooh Man and Agents and check things out there. And it's been just about three hours on the stream, so at that point I think I'm gonna call it. Um, Medieval Feast will be next week, obviously. We'll call it the, I don't know if we're calling it our Yule Feast or what... Oh, you got the sunrise happening. That's rather cool there. I am on my way. I'll just let it res up around me. Oh, just in time for the sunrise. The sun's just peeking over there. What the heck? Invisible block? I got an invisible block here. It won't let me through. That is so cool! You just need a mechanism to move it now, right? That is so cool! How are you gonna open that, though? That's on wheels, okay. Okay, so that stone block up in the center is going to have to come out in order for it to move. That is so cool. That's going to rock. Then you just use a, um, a locking drum mechanism to raise and lower it. You'd only need one in, uh, on a center hook. That is so cool. I like that idea. And there's the sunrise. Oh man. Oh yeah, sun coming up and it's just see it. That is so awesome. Yep, season change. This is so cool. Abs absolutely awesome. Oh, sure, yeah, coming down.
been tunneling out, have you? What? Oh, is this below the gate? So the gate's gonna come up? Oh, you're gonna lower it down this way. And then to close it, it'll draw up. I Sweet! That is so cool. No, actually what you can do, um, you can put your um, lockable rope drum in place, uh, connect the rope to the top of the gate and then to the drum, but something that I discovered, you can change the length of the rope by configuring the drum, you can change the maximum length, so you can then lower it down even though it's just a short rope. So, the rope, normally, when you put it in place, it'll be short up there, but you can reconfigure it to a maximum, a longer length, and then lower it down. Yeah, that's, wh that's why I use the locking drums on my farm. Yeah, no, definitely use the locking drums. Finish tunneling this out and scoring it up with uh, with the stone. And then, uh, yeah, use the locking drum. Um, put the rope in place. And then once it's ready to go, just change the length of the rope by reconfiguring the drum and lower it into place. Easy peasy. Done. Oh, service entrance. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where are you? Okay, I've lost you. It's so dark in here. Oh, there you are. Um, oh, right. It was this way. Uh, this way? Where was it? I'm, 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 I'm lost. Oh. That way. Okay. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Too bad it's too steep for carts. Actually, no. You could put... Even if it's... Yeah, put a rope drum here, and then just have a wheeled cart that you can roll up and down the hill. That would be so cool. Oh no, that's a view. That is a view. Oh my lord. Definitely put a railing here and uh, a bunch of tables and a couple of fireplaces. Yeah, that, this is definitely a hangout spot. Nicely done. Oh man, I love it. What's this over here? Oh, we got a round up here. Up to the top. I'm loving it. This is so cool, man. <laughs> Phenomenal. Oh, to the southeast over there, on uh, the little precipice over there? Cool. So, oh, that's Sepids over there, okay. Shh. 
jeez. Oh, yeah, I see it. Way down there. No kidding. I'm loving this build, guys. This is so cool. Oh, I'm flashing red on my food here. Hang on. Munch. One more. There we go. Fully, fully fooded up. Oh, and I'm getting some lag. This is so cool. So very cool. Okay, guys. Uh, I think I'm going to fast travel back to my place and uh, secure that all up. And I think I'm going to call it a stream for now. Um, depending on how I'm doing later on tonight, after I've had some supper and some relaxing and getting some blood flow back, back into my legs and my arms here, I may do another stream and continue on with what I planned on doing today, which was some building, which I didn't get a chance to do. So, uh, thanks for the tour, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching the stream. Um, oh, nope, that's going to kill me if I go that way. That's going to kill me if I go that way. i got to go this way. Uh, stairs. Nope, not stairs. Stairs. The stairs are here. Here we go. And there we go. There's the gate. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, say so long. So long, farewell. Elvita Zen, adieu. And uh, I'm going to head to the road here and fast travel. Actually, we're allies. I can just fast travel straight from here. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Oop. Yeah, see, still night here. And I appear to be in a hole. Yeah, yeah, uh. There we go. Let the forest spawn in, but I'm safe to walk along here. To the gate. So yeah. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, all of you, thanks for uh, being part of the stream. Thanks for the tour of the stuff. We had a little bit of stuff that we did today, and... Uh, a little bit of a disaster, which we repaired after dropping a tree on a building. Um, yeah. So uh, hit like on that video stream. Let me know if you liked it or didn't like it. Please uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, if you're a new watcher. Um, do share my uh, streams on your social media, please. It'd be great if you could. Um, We'll talk on the Discord, everybody, about the medieval feast that's going to be in the stream next weekend. Um, I'm going to start bringing some supplies over to the keep to uh, have all of that food ready to go there. I got a whole bunch of stuff stockpiled and ready. And uh, we'll call it a night. Uh, streaming Imperion tomorrow at. Uh, I was thinking about streaming at the same time, but I think I'm going to bump the stream back to a nighttime stream because um, it just works out better that way for everybody, I think. Um, I'm probably going to stream some more Copper Hill on my builds tomorrow. So take care, ladies and gentlemen. And this is Scalab, you're in the Video Gaming Vikings, saying we shall catch you all later.